The room's wide enough that I don't feel like it's gonna force hits on me. Plus, now that I have the cape, I could dodge the lightning by using the cape. Uh, wait, I do want to warp. Or do I? Yeah, this is the version that I wanted. Uh, gotta walk quickly out into the room so that I can fail the magic cape. <laughs> I think I hit the button too early still. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, we want to warp. I'll try to come back with more life if I can't succeed on this attempt. Oops, wrong room. But I mean, this attempt, I, I'm gonna have like six more hearts. Assuming I don't... Oh. Right. The business of the crystal switch. Uh... <laughs> about that. Uh, at least I can get this hit point again. And it doesn't take too long for the crystal switch detour either. Okay, me hitting the spikes there was just foolish. So, this is the reason why I'm gonna get there with two hearts again. <laughs> Actually, what I should do... is I should go... investigate the other place where I needed the big key. Because on the way there, there were, um, five hit points. I wonder if wall masters can grab you while you're caping. Probably not. <laughs> Alright. You do your thing, wizards. Okay. So, like, right off to the left here. Or left off to the left here, in fact. Oh! Door lock's behind you. Well, whatever. I'll just investigate up the stairs, then. Go like right and then down, I think. And there's an X here. Wait. Wait. Oh yeah, you killed the enemy. <laughs> Alright, so after I forget everything, let's actually go in here. Do I check for... Uh, these... I think these are just decorative cracks, but... But they're just decorative cracks. <laughs> okay, so this is not where the big chest is. We've seen where the big chest is. There wasn't a small key under there. I don't think I'm going to check those cracks. Yeah, they're, they're just cracks everywhere. Okay, there were no small keys under those pots. Uh, these could be bombable. It's probably, yeah, the crack that is on the same... Or, that leads to a room on the same 2x2 two two tile. Oh, hello. I have a fire rod. Actually, don't you die in fewer hits from the sword? You're just harder to sword down normally because there are conveyor belts everywhere? Whatever, got him. Alright, so what's here? Um, That just leads back in a loop if I go up there, so I'm gonna fall here. Oh. I'm gonna fall there, in particular. Oh! It's our good friend, the eyeball monsters, that we can fight from the side. This is really weird. Yeah, good luck hitting me with your lightning when I spend most of the fight not even under you. 
And you know, we have so much room to move around, he's not gonna be an issue. So the problem is that if you stay in one place and swing your sword, the eyeballs eventually get you. But I mean, with all this movement room, uh, I'm not anticipating problems unless I try to rush. I wonder if they even have limited range. Like, can they? Oh, uh, they can get you if you're dumb. Okay, yeah, you're out of little eyes. Oh, wow! Oh, really? That's what I did. Uh, I expected to poke him and knock him back, but maybe he's immune to poke. Anyway, I guess I'm going back there. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Just, I messed it up. I guess I'm not gonna even bother hitting the crystal switch, because it's unnecessary. So wait. That makes three copies of that boss in this one dungeon. Ah. Transforming fast enough is pretty difficult in that room. I wonder if I have to kill Mothula again, too. I don't think Mothula can respawn. I mean, I said that earlier this episode. So that'll help. I'll have more hit points. Let's see, I, I go down and right, and then I um, kill the enemy. Almost a weird choice, having, like bad enemy just floating in the middle of the room, but I don't know. Pretty much any Zelda room, if you analyze it, it's like, why did they have that room? Well, because they needed room. <laughs> I mean, you can't make a game without making game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, going a little long, but whatever. Yep, still dead. So let's fall and fight some eyeballs. And I guess then I'll investigate the rooms. I, I could investigate the side rooms, but I'm kind of expecting the door to lock if I do. Uh, oh, pff, wow. Well played, sir. You sure noticed that that big eyeball in the middle was charging up. Oh, I'm gonna die even horribly, or even more horribly than before, aren't I? So I'm rushing. Uh, maybe I'll we'll just retreat from one of these side rooms. Oh, hey, guess what? We're at the beginning. Because, <laughs> you know, this dungeon, it's required to make sense. I'm killing myself for more hit points, and then I'm gonna head back there and actually... I'm gonna magic cape past the guy. What was I doing fighting him? <laughs> I I guess theoretically a chest with a key in it could appear if you kill him. I, I mean I I don't know. <laughs> uh yeah. Seems almost like that Mega Spike thing should be placed like one pile up. <laughs> then I could transform in time. Oh. So I'm gonna waste all the hit points this room gives me.
Oh, I guess maybe you're probably meant to use the cape to go out on the spikes and murder this guy. And apparently, they don't zap you if you're invincible, but they also don't take damage. Which is kind of interesting, I didn't actually know that, because most of the time I don't use the magic cape to fight those guys. So, you know, we're, we're going through some rooms. I've already investigated all these pots twice. They didn't have keys or health. So, you know, when you, ha when you have the power to bypass enemies arbitrarily, some sometimes you should use it. So now we're in the middle of the alternative world whatever and I think this will lead us to a warp if I hook shot across everything that was a mean spiritedly placed fire bar I don't think there was any way to avoid that well I could have gone through the doorway with the magic cape already active right god armor so now that I'm adequately protected uh, I'm here again. Um. Alright. So, the plan is to, um... I don't even feel like doing this. Alright. The plan is to hit the crystal switch, go back to where I needed the crystal switch flipped, while well, I still remember where it was, uh, either fight the guy or look for a way to bypass him, because, you know, <laughs> I have the magic cape, by the way. Yep, yeah, couldn't make it in time. Yeah, this would so totally murder you if you did not have the cape. Well, you just would never be able to lift the thing. Okay, I was working on lifting it. There was enough slowdown that I wasn't sure I'd even hit the button. Oh, you know, at that place where it's really hard to magic cape before you take a hit, I should just remember that it's coming up and magic cape the room before. That would be a solution. Oh, wait. Like, ah! <laughs> like here. <laughs> Guys, I figured it out. <laughs> Wait, did I need a small key? For something? Uh, for going the wrong way? Uh, I guess I'll just trust that past whatever killed me was a small key. Instead of... I guess you could even hookshot across. You don't need to know about Pegasus boots jumps. <laughs> um, Firebar's missing. Uh, let's see, I bombed a wall up and right. Yeah. If I went down, it would actually be past where I needed the small key, wouldn't it? Oh, money! And we're trapped in here. Do I need to book my way out? Because I don't have a key. Uh... I'm concluding yes. Okay, so one more take on the whole, um... <laughs> crystal switch thing. <laughs> and the whole, you know, going the right way. Okay. Hello. <laughs> it's the fire bar. <laughs> Alright, up. Right. Up. Uh. What? How am I stuck? Uh. I can't even try to, like, Pegasus boots. 
Uh, can I magic cape out? No. Well, that's exciting. No, I might actually have to wait anyway. I don't think I'm getting this next... Actually... Uh, this is way too many hit points to be wasting. <laughs> um... Right then. <laughs> Remember when I had hit points? Those were good times. <sighs> Still be giving me mana. But no, they only give it to you in the dungeons where it's useless. <laughs> Alright, up. Why am I stuck again? D huh. The tiles aren't even attacking me this time. Weird. I'm gonna save and quit, maybe? Maybe that'll fix it? Um, actually, wait. Can I... Do I have anything bound to rewind? Oh. Does it... I don't think it starts saving rewind states until you've already bound a key to rewind. Hmm. Is it linked to whether the fire bar spawns or not? <laughs> Maybe I should let some tiles fly at me? Maybe it's related to going through rooms too fast? Hey, I made it! Mysteriously. <laughs> and we don't go down, because that's just the money room. We go up. Wait, there's this guy. And there's not a door behind him, so we actually want to kill him. I guess I'll keep the cape out in case I want to dodge some lightning attacks from the middle of the room. Ah, okay. He sent it off to that side. Yeah, because it could be to either side. So, yes. I do want a proper defense prepared, in case I'm randomly unlucky. So I'm thinking this might be the official boss of the dungeon. Ah, that was way late on every reaction to anything ever. I'm gonna toss some bombs at him. I like tossing bombs at this guy. I realized by the time I opened the pause menu, it was far too late. Or at least it would have been if he had been shooting at me. Once again, it would have been far too late. I should be more careful, I guess. <laughs> Considering I have no fairies and I'm on my last hit points. He shoots faster as he has less eyeballs, I think. No! <laughs> yeah, I think near the end there, there's not time for a spin attack before each pair of eyeballs. <sighs> I'm gonna need just a few more hit points to do that. I... Uh, I don't want to leave just the boss for next time, but I've been playing almost an hour. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I guess next time I'll start with two fairies and we'll just kill the boss, because... Even though I really wanted to finish the dungeon, I don't think I'm going to. But, uh, yeah. Next time we'll finish it, and... See ya!